All right, so here's the model number. If you can see it, maybe. I don't know. Uh, not a lot of light going on. Uh, can't really get out of the light. Anyway, it says 917.270821. So if you got one of these um, kind of older, this was my main beast for a while. It's got one of these engines in it. I've already got it taken apart, you know. If you can't figure out how to take this stuff off, then this definitely no video for you. And this one actually is an easy fix. <laughs> if you have a chip on stuff over there, big mess. This actually is an easy fix. Most of the videos I post are not. It's more like a joke. But if you have this one, get that cover off, all the other stuff. So you get down and you see this thing. And, you know, you can see this one bolt. This guy was right here. You know, that's down. That's easy to take off. Then you can look underneath, down underneath, way under there, there's another bolt. And you're like, how in the world is that going to come off because you're hitting the bottom of this? Well, I got a clue from someone else, but eventually just kind of went in here. You can feel there's a little um, groove underneath there. So line that up there. Get a half inch or 13 millimeter. And you're just going to want to start unloosening it. Just keep on going. Even though you think you feel like it's going to hit there, use at the end I turn it around and I grab this side. And you're going to keep on going until you finally feel this thing loosen up like this. It'll finally get there. Trust me, it'll come out. And finally, you're going to leave the bolt in there. The bolt's not going to come all the way out. Just get it so it just comes off of there. And then you can get it and you're going to maneuver it out of there. I believe I take them out down below. Yeah. And it will come out. See? Easy. And then, you know, if you have a new one, put a new one in there. I actually had this one. This is actually the second plastic garbage on here. And it just tore it up again. I'm not really sure what's going on. I don't think it's I don't think it's pushing it back down. Usually they go bloop and come back down, but this guy does not. Maybe it's the spring or something. I'm going to have to mess with it. But that starter is just shot up. And definitely be sure to make sure your wrench goes down here. Because that's just part of the fun. And that's what makes it really easy. Anyways, we'll get that later. Anyways, Craftsman Lomo starter. Actually, an easy fix. See you guys later.